Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Google Chromecast. This is a super inexpensive way to get whatever's on your phone or tablet onto your big screen TV. And it works so well, I think that you really must have it, even if you already have a media player like a Blu-ray player, Android media player, or Apple TV. So all it is is a little stick with an HDMI plug on one side and a power plug on the other side. Nothing else. No buttons, no antenna, nothing. To hook it up, just plug the Chromecast into a free HDMI port on your HDTV and connect power. A lot of TVs, like this one, have a USB port on the back, so you can use that to power the Chromecast. If not, there's an included AC adapter as well. To connect your smartphone or tablet to the Chromecast, just install the Chromecast software and follow a few simple steps and you're ready to go. When Chromecast first started, there were only about 8 or 9 apps that worked with it. Big name apps like YouTube and Netflix worked great on there, but most other apps didn't support Chromecast. Now there are well over 300 apps that support Chromecast. Here you can see a list of some of the most popular ones. And if an app you want is not supported, Google recently introduced screencasting to the Chromecast. This mirrors the screen of your phone to the TV. So now you can watch just about any app on your big screen TV. This does use more battery on your phone, but it's still the best mirror cast I've used so far. And now we come to my favorite part, which is watching videos, and especially YouTube videos, using the YouTube app on a smartphone. All you have to do is choose a little box at the top that says Chromecast, and then each video you play will be sent to your TV. Once the first video is playing, each one will be queued behind it. You can choose a video from your queue by tapping TV queue, scrolling down to the video you want, tap that video, and it will be playing on your TV in a few seconds. I like this because it's nice and fast and you can search for more videos while you're playing a previous video. It's pretty much the easiest way to watch YouTube like a TV channel. In fact, it's probably the most user-friendly way I've found to watch YouTube on the big screen TV so far. And on top of that, it's really, really inexpensive. I'll add a link in the video description down below to the best price on the Chromecast. Also, did I mention that during each video I can pause at any time I want, slide to any point in the video I choose, or I can just skip the entire video. Video works great on the Chromecast with lots of other apps like Netflix and one of my favorite apps, Plex. Plex lets you stream videos from your computer in the other room to the Chromecast. It works on all types of video formats including MPEG, MKV, and even ISO. Plex can even change the bitrate of video so it can stream more easily over slow Wi-Fi connections. So again, when you start the app, you just click the box at the top of the screen and choose your Chromecast. Then you go to play your videos and they appear on your TV screen. So in Plex, I've got some home video here, and it's going to play off of my computer in the other room, stream to the Chromecast, and play back on the screen, and I'm controlling it from my phone. Now my phone becomes like a remote for the video. I can pause and resume the video. I can skip forward 30 seconds, I can skip backwards 30 seconds, or I can slide the slider up to any point in the video I want. Okay, one more cool thing about the Chromecast is that it works with a bunch of different apps on Apple devices as well. It's got YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and Plexes on there too. To use the Chromecast on iOS devices, just install the Chromecast app. Then in the app that you're trying to use, hit the little icon on the top and select your Chromecast. So here I've got an iPad Air connected to the Chromecast. And we'll go into YouTube and we can do it just like we did on the Android phone. Pick the videos you want, they'll add to the queue, and they'll play on your big screen TV. I still recommend getting a separate media box like an Android media player for your TV because they can handle just about any app you throw at them. But I also highly recommend getting a Chromecast because it's so inexpensive and it's so good at getting content from big name apps to your TV. And also the screen mirroring is very good. I'll add links to the Chromecast as well as all the software you saw in the video in the description down below. Also be sure and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for watching and as always, aloha.